Hello and welcome. Today's video I'm going to demonstrate my wheel detailing regime, which could also be considered as a complete wheel detailing guide. I will cover products, tools and equipment in the correct order of stages, including cleaning, decontaminating and protecting. I've put links in the description to UK stockists for the products in today's video. Wheels, tyres and arches are the dirtiest areas on a vehicle. This dirt contains metal particles released by the brakes and also general dirt, grit and grime from the road. Professional wheel cleaning requires a separate grit guarded bucket and dedicated wheel cleaning implements. Nothing used to clean the wheels should ever be used to clean any other area of the vehicle. The last thing you want to do is decontaminate your bodywork wash mitt with wheel dirt because this could result in metal particles or large dirt debris being rubbed into your paintwork resulting in swirls and scratches. Step 1. Pressure wash. Remove as much dirt from the wheels, tyres and arches that is possible. The more thorough you are at each and every stage will leave you less to do in the following stages. By using a pressure washer, this will allow you to remove the majority of grime, importantly any large grit particles. Step 2. Brushes. Depending on the design of your wheels, for doing a thorough job I recommend an arch cleaning brush, a tyre brush, a soft and thick brush for the face of the alloys and between the spokes, a brush to reach inside the wheels and a wash mitt for cleaning the painted inner arch lip and for reaching behind the spokes. You can also include a smaller brush for cleaning the lug nuts or wheel bolts. Personally I add two caps of my favourite bodywork shampoo, fill with water then blast with pressure washer to get suds. This will provide additional cleaning power, ensuring the wheels are thoroughly cleaned, also added lubrication from the shampoo, which reduces the chance of inflicting minor scratches or marring from the brushes, more important for gloss finish wheels. Step 3. Wheel Cleaner and Degreaser My go-to wheel cleaner is Valet Pro Bilberry. Dilute the product to suit your requirements. For heavily soiled, it can be used neat, and for maintenance, it can be used 1 to 10. I personally like to keep it around 1 to 7. Spray a generous amount of wheel cleaner onto the face and inside the alloys into the barrels. Straight after, I apply a generous amount of Meguiar Super Degreaser to the arches to begin softening grime. More info on Meguiar Super Degreaser later. Take your first cleaning implement, spritz a few sprays of wheel cleaner onto the brush and begin cleaning. If you're starting with the inside of the wheel, begin at the top and not the bottom. This will allow the cleaning product to run down the sides inside the wheel, compared to if you started at the bottom of the wheel, the product would simply run straight off. By working your way from the top part of the wheel to the bottom, your wheel cleaner will be more effective, being allowed to sit on the wheel for a maximum amount of time. Be sure to rinse your brushes out frequently and reload with a few spritz of wheel cleaner. Once the inside of the wheel is clean, take the next brush, load with wheel cleaner, and again, begin with starting at the top of the wheel and be sure to clean all the hard to reach areas and remove as much dirt as possible. Rinse brushes out frequently, reload with shampoo and wheel cleaner, then continue to clean. Once the brush stages are complete, I load my dedicated wheel wash mitt with shampoo and wheel cleaner and reach behind the spokes of the alloys and also any other parts of the wheels including towards the central hub, which on a lot of newer vehicles is actually painted the same colour as the alloys. Next are the arches. I use a large easy detail brush and Meguiar Super Degreaser. For heavily soiled, dilute 1 to 4, and for light soiling, dilute 1 to 10. I like to keep it in the middle at around 1 to 6. Hopefully by applying the degreaser at the start of the clean, most of the dirt is now softened. I spray a little bit more degreaser into the arches, a bit onto the brush, and continue to clean the arches covering as many areas as possible. If the brush gets caked with dirt, simply rinse the brush out and reload with shampoo and degreaser. Next are the tyres. I spray a small amount of degreaser and mist the tyres. Take the tyre brush, spray the degreaser and continue to clean. I find degreaser is more effective than all purpose cleaner, particularly on the arches and tyres. And also these tyre brushes are extremely good, just quite a strong bristle brush so be careful not to touch the alloys. Up 
I also use the wheel wash mitt to clean the inside of the painted inner arch lip. Again, these areas are often ridden with heavy dirt and by using my wheel cleaning wash mitt, this will keep my bodywork wash mitts in much better condition. Finally, take the pressure washer and rinse off the grit, grime, brake dust and cleaning products to reveal one hella clean wheel. Iron X time, the most fun part about cleaning wheels, every stage I have covered up till this point is how to prepare for the Iron X stage. Apply a generous amount of Iron X covering the inside barrel, spokes and brake calipers. Allow to dwell for 5-10 to 10 minutes, but don't allow the product to dry. When the 5-10 to 10 minutes are over, and to ensure all stubborn and embedded particles are removed, I apply another fine layer of Iron X, take my first cleaning implement, load with Iron X, and continue to work into all areas of the wheel, repeating the same process with my inner wheel barrel brush, and if you wish you can do the same with the wash mitt. Once you're done, press wash the wheel and we're ready for decontamination stage 2. Tar and glue remover. My go-to product is AutoSmart TARDIS. Apply a fine mist onto the wheel. If you wish, you can allow the product to dwell for one minute. Take a microfiber cloth, spray a mist of TARDIS onto the cloth and continue to wipe the wheels, making sure you remove all the road tar. If there are any stubborn tar spots, simply apply a small amount of TARDIS, allow to dwell for a minute, then return to the area with the microfiber cloth. Now the wheels are fully decontaminated, it is good practice to give the wheels a final clean using ordinary wheel cleaner. This will ensure all decontamination chemicals are removed, because when we seal and protect the wheels, these chemicals could potentially seep out of nooks and crannies, negatively affecting the protection we plan to apply. Give the wheels a good pressure wash and make sure all products have been removed. Dry the wheels the best you can using a fresh microfiber cloth. It would be advantageous if you have access to compressed air or a Metrovac Master Blaster. Either way, ensure the wheels are as dry as possible, including the tyres. Now the wheels are clean and dry, you have one of three options. Option 1, straight to protection. Option 2, pre-wax cleanser to add additional shine. Or option 3, IPA, short for isopropanol alcohol. Personally, I give the wheels a quick wipe down with IPA. This ensures the wheels are free from any type of grease or wax inhibitors that were miraculously missed in the decontamination stages. It is also good professional practice because after all the preparation we have just done, we want to ensure we achieve maximum durability from the protection product we plan to apply. Protecting and wheel sealant. There are lots of wheel sealants on the market. I have a dedicated tin of FK1000P high temp sealant that I use for basic wheel protection and if looked after correctly you can achieve 6 months of protection. Alternatively, if you want to go the full hog, I would recommend something like G-Technic C4 Wheel Armour, which states up to 2 years durability, and so far I have been very impressed with this product. Take a dedicated wheel applicator and apply your chosen protection product to the wheels, following the manufacturer's advice. I personally like to give wheel sealant the longest curing time I can. For example, I will continue doing other things on the vehicle and return back to the wheels after an hour or so, sometimes longer. I would only recommend doing this if you are familiar with the product you are using. Once the sealant has been allowed to cure, remove the wheel sealant using a fresh microfiber cloth. Last stage, tyre dressing. I've been using G-Technic T1 tyre gel for a few months now and so far I am very impressed with its durability and the finish it leaves. 
Make sure the tyres are dry, then apply your favourite tyre dressing and make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. It's also very important to remove excess tyre dressing because otherwise this will sling over bodywork and run all over the wheels ruining our results after your first drive. So after the tyre dressing has been applied take an old microfiber cloth and remove the excess. So that finishes my wheel detailing regime also considered as a complete wheel detailing guide. The only stage I've missed is the option to clay bar the wheels after completing all the other decontamination stages, which I just haven't opted to do for this vehicle, but may feature a video in the future. Depending on your level of detailing skills and knowledge, hopefully I've managed to teach somebody something. Feel free to leave a comment below with your thoughts and suggestions. As always, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe for more detailing videos, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. I don't know what you want. Let's have